Marcy Gordon, and you'll see her in the nearest coffee shop in the village. But my next <laughs> guest up tonight, he's connected to Joe Franklin in some shape or form. He's laughing his balls off through the whole time. So let me just announce him. We got Pete D. Lorenzo, and we got JT from JT Talent. <laughs> What are you guys, on laughing gas or something? Yeah, you're killing me, it's great material. <laughs> What's going on? Good to see JT, you, JT, how are Life you, buddy? What's up, Johnny Boy? I'm glad you guys took the time to come hang out with us tonight. It's an honor to be here on your great show, and yep. also in memory of a man that was a, li a legend and an icon uh, in Absolutely. our industry. Absolutely. Tell us how uh, Joe affected your life. How you well, met. How, long, how much time we got. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe actually entered my life, and I was actually uh, playing the Red Blazer too, and everybody knew Joe. I mean, I watched this show every night, as many did. One o'clock in the morning, and uh, here he come up to me with, kid, kid, you were great, you were stupendous. <laughs> I can put you on my show, I can put you on my show. <laughs> and the rest was history. And he just took a liking to me. And uh, our rapport, uh, like, like Frank Morano had with him, um, uh, he was a mentor to me as well. Uh, in fact, my, my upcoming major feature film is, is embodied around Joe, his character. Uh -huh. uh, the real Joe Franklin, the mentor. Uh, and he was not a manager, he was not an agent, as everyone knows, and he touched so many lives with such an impact. He reached out and helped from, the, 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 you know, as, as brought out by many that were guests tonight. Uh, whether you were just starting out, whether you were known from the not so famous to the famous. Mm -hmm. This man interviewed 380,000 guests throughout his career in the Guinness World Book of Records. Wow. Uh, Bette Midler used to answer the phones in his office. He introduced me to Mr. Harry Hirsch, who was my musical supervisor, an icon <laughs> in the industry. Um, and, and uh, you know, Gene Cogan, who became my publicist, God rest his soul. And, and the list goes on and on. And, and he didn't have to do this, but he did, like many said, yeah. took that personal interest mm -hmm. in you. And, and uh, you know, uh, I, I could go on and on for hours, but one of the main, and he was so quick, as you've seen in some of the clips. And one day, as many know, Joe would always be like two, three phones in his hand in his oh, office, yeah. you know, right? And, 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 and I'm on the phone with him as almost every day I would talk with him on the phone. And, and I hear him, PP, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. And he's got somebody else talking to him. And the guy's asking him, Joe, can you refer me to a good attorney? <laughs> and I mean, I fell off, literally fell off my office chair. Joe goes, only good attorneys I know are, are either dead or in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how quick, how clever, I, I mean, I, nobody could write a line like that. Was, I laughed my ass off. And then and, and, uh, one very poignant moment was, uh, Joe would oftentimes, you know, PP, come with me, I gotta do a little thing and stand out, you do some shtick, do some impressions. <laughs> this love impression. He put me on his show when he, he discovered me, virtually launched my career, and, and when he f discovered me that day, when he started to put me on, I mean, he put me on consecutively. Uh -huh. And, and all those shots on, on the show, my phone started ringing off the hook. And I owe to God and to Joe Franklin where I am today. Today I have international credits, but Joe put me on the map and I got National Letterman, Showtime, HBO, Comedy Central. It was all due to Mr. Joe Franklin. So, T, if it wasn't for Joe, you wouldn't be here right now. If I wasn't, well, right in this know, building. It, no, <laughs> no, not <laughs> Stuck in Staten right, no, Island my career, my career, with Stuttering well, John over here. Probably still pounding the salt, trying to get discovered. Well, you know? Pete, those are some beautiful stories. It's amazing. But that's your time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what the a, time. What am I funny? What am I doing in prison? That's your time. Okay, I'm free. we're gonna put that on your headstone. That's your time. That's, that's your it. time. You gotta hit the little hey, bell. Hey, Pete, Bing. you and Woody's time has been done 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Absolutely. JT.